Hello, thank you so much for inviting me to speak at the Seoul International Book Fair. Thank you, the Korean Publishers Association. It's a privilege for introduce a glimpse of the Indonesian publishing market during and hopefully um, coping with the pandemic. My name is Laura Prinsloo. I'm the chair of 17,000 Islands of Imagination Foundation. It's a foundation based in Jakarta, Indonesia that focuses on literature and creative sector. One of our programs is actually the Jakarta Content Week, an event in Right Straight and IP marketplace for the Asia Pacific, together co-organize it with the Frankfurt Book Fair. And uh, I am also the executive chair for the Jakarta Book City Committee, who organizes the IPA Congress 33rd in Jakarta next year. So let me talk about the Indonesian um, book market, just a glimpse of it. Uh, the majority of publishers in Indonesia uh, can be categorized as uh, small and medium. About 65% are small and 32% is medium. Only a fraction of 3% of the publishers um, that we have is large. What I mean by large is that they produce more than 20 titles a year. On average, um, the number of publishers uh, each year is about around 5,700 publishers across Indonesia. And in 2019, uh, the new titles that we have is 114,845 titles. Majority of Indonesian publishers are based in Java Island. Um, and according to the Agency for Creative Economy in uh, 2016, the publishing industry makes up of 6.3% of our uh, GDP. So in terms of the creative sector, it is ranked the fifth largest sector in the creative industry. And uh, uh, considering we are the fourth most populous country in the world, uh, we also have quite a large number of libraries. Uh, the data that I've got for 2018, we have 164,610 libraries across Indonesia. So what happened during the pandemic? Uh, obviously, since March, uh, 2020, the government uh, imposed a lockdown in uh, across Indonesia, and uh, all the shops, uh, malls are closed, and majority, actually maybe a lot of um, a huge fraction of Indonesian publishers have suffered a loss of 60 to even 80 percent of uh, sales revenue. Having said that, uh, a lot of publishers have also gained confidence in, in the e-commerce market. Uh, we ex uh, experience a huge shift from the retail uh, market to the e-commerce, where um, a large, uh, one of the largest uh, publisher in, publishers in Indonesia reported uh, even up to 445% increase in an e-commerce platform such as Shopee. And then Gramedia as the biggest uh, bookstore chain in Indonesia has also experienced a huge increase in their online platform by 289%. Uh, this is uh, year on year from before the pandemic in 2019 until uh, 2020. And then uh, a number of other uh, plat uh, big platforms, e-commerce platforms such as Blibli.com experienced a 238% increase. Uh, Tokopedia, it's another uh, big platform, experienced another uh, a huge increase of 174%. So we can see that a number of publishers have created a big push in their um, online uh, market effort. 
In terms of the digital books itself, we do see an increase. Um, if you see in the graph, uh, new titles on digital books before um, in 2018, there's about 23,000 titles already published in, uh, in ebooks format. And then uh, in 2019, we experience a huge increase, uh, almost doubled uh, to 41,000 titles uh, published in ebook format. And then when we look at the sales between 2019 and 2020, there's actually um, a big increase in the beginning of the lockdown. So if you can see the graph, ebook sales 2020 versus uh, 2019, um, in the beginning of the year of 2020, uh, the, the increase is um, not much, but there is an increase. But the moment the government imposed a lockdown in March 2020, you see a huge jump uh, in the month of March, April, May, and June. And then it pretty much slowed down until the end of the year. So how's the net sales uh, in comparison to uh, before the pandemic? Um, although uh, in 2019, uh, the, the sales was quite steady, um, we do experience a huge drop uh, in 2020. Um, and it's, it's quite obvious in January and February, um, it, it is slightly lower than 2019 sales, but then the moment the lockdown was imposed in March, uh, a huge drop happened. And then as the government sort of um, uh, regulation sort of more relaxed in June and July, the sales picked up by a little bit. And there is a slight upward trend uh, at the end of the year. Uh, and in regards to the new titles, I think uh, this is quite similar across uh, other publishers where um, new titles have slowed down uh, due to uh, various reasons. Um, the sales distribution channels are quite uh, limited. Uh, the, the types of uh, book launch events and things like that are quite restricted. So we do experience a big drop in the number of new titles uh, compared to before pandemic. But in regards to the book category market share, if you can see, um, children has always been uh, one of the biggest market share for the uh, for the book sales in Indonesia, around. 16.6% of the market share is under the children category. Um, and uh, this has, uh, this is an increase since uh, the previous year, uh, which was around 14%. Um, we do see a slight uh, decrease in the novel section, um, but more, uh, more people are, moving towards uh, comics uh, genres uh, during the pandemic. Um, and obviously this is expected, not so much on the school books. Since the, the schools are now online based um, and the government is not purchasing school textbooks as much as before. So that's just a, a, a rough uh, description or uh, explanation about what's happening before and during the pandemic. Now that Indonesia is experiencing the, uh, the of course, the, the, the almost the second wave uh, of the Delta variant, uh, and we are, we have been in a lockdown now for a couple of months. Um, the stores, the malls are closed again. And uh, people have been saying that they are experiencing a tougher year compared to 2020. Uh, we have not yet seen uh, the figures, um, but the situation is not looking that great. But having said that, 
in the recent years, uh, we do see a lot of innovation coming from the publishers. Uh, publish, pub, publishers coming up with uh, a different uh, platform uh, on um, show, showcasing their content and also a different ways in marketing their products uh, online. And, and I think going forward, we will be seeing more and more um, new innovative products, uh, book to film, book to podcast, book to audiobooks, um, even book to animation and other digital formats. We do hope that uh, the pandemic will be over soon. Uh, a lot of our uh, publishers are still, um, you know, depending a lot on the the physical bookstores and the physical book fairs. Although we do see a lot of online book fairs, but it's still not the same as meeting people in person, you know, going to the Seoul International Book Fair and meeting you guys in person. But uh, but we are trying our best to to be keep on being productive and uh, and keep on promoting uh, literacy and uh, reading to as many people, especially during this lockdown. So if you have any question about uh, the publishing market in Indonesia, feel free to contact us uh, from the 17,000 Islands of Imagination. Otherwise, I hope we will be seeing you soon at one of our programs, the Jakarta Content Week, happening on the 10th to the 14th of November 2021 here in Jakarta and online on www.jakten.com. Thank you very much. Bye and good luck with the fair.